During a radio interview last night, former Chicago Bears coach Mike Ditka weighed in on the recent national anthem protest. Ditka said, there has been no oppression in the last 100 years that I know of. If you don't respect our country, then you shouldn't be in this country playing football. Go to another country and play football. <laughs> Here to comment is one of our writers, Amber Ruffin. Thanks, Seth. Now, former Chicago Bears coach Mike Ditka said, there hasn't been any oppression in the last 100 years, which officially makes him the worst. <laughs> 70% of NFL players are black. How can you work with so many black people and not know them? Seth knows me. Seth, what do I do with my free time? You watch Scandal and pretend you're Olivia Pope. Yep. And what is my favorite food? Your favorite food is margaritas. Correct. And what is it like to be a black person in America? That is not something I, as a white person, am qualified to talk about, but... From what I can glean, not great. That is the correct answer. And if you think things are going great for black people, you're on the wrong side of history. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Ditka, what do you know about oppression? You won one Super Bowl in 1986, and they gave you your own steakhouse. <laughs> Charles Barkley was one of the greatest basketball players of all time, and all he got was fat. <laughs> you think no bad things have happened to black people for 100 years? Charlottesville happened this summer, and then again three days ago. <laughs> Ditka also said, if you want to kneel during the national anthem, you should go to another country and play football. What other country? We're the only ones dumb enough to spend our Sundays wearing tights and giving each other brain damage. <laughs> Look. Look, Jerry Jones threatened to bench players who protest the national anthem. That is, a white man threatening his black players with punishment if they exercise their right to free speech which can be found in the Constitution. <laughs> the Constitution. The Constitution. I think it's, it's not all the way there. The Constitution. Is it right? It's the fine. <laughs> in summary, Mike Ditka believes that all players should stand for the national anthem. And I'm sure they will, as soon as the anthem stands for all players. Duh.